Hey, what's up boys? Hope this video is helpful for you new and returning players, uh, as well as people that just want to rank up and earn company coins as quickly as possible. Since launch and the new update, in fact, there's been a lot of quality of life improvements been added to the game. That can just help speed up this pro uh, process tremendously. So I hope you all learned something, and uh, let's get into it. So, the first way to earn XP is through the weekly title war missions which can be accessed from the main menu by clicking this tab here or this box here and if you need to sort of go when you're in game sort of track what you're doing it's the escape key to bring up, uh, up the main menu and you can click the tab there or the start key on console and do the same so these challenges like it says here are weekly and once this week's done you can't go back and um, complete them so they reset every Thursday at 10 o'clock and the XP and difficulty sort of go hand in hand so the easier the sort of challenge the less XP you get so for this challenge today play one game mode you get a thousand XP and a hundred company coins and then you sort of get 2000 XP and 200 company coins and 5000 XP is sort of the, the max you can get so like I said these challenges vary depending on the degree of difficulty but none of them are too difficult some are look based more than others but there's like these can be completed only if you have like a couple of hours a week you can get like a good majority done if not all of them since like sort of this week here there's quite a lot but then like next week there's quite a, uh, a lot of it like more of a linear path through them so the good thing about sort of these challenges as well is that you can do multiple at the same time so once this point's unlocked it will open up these three separate sort of uh, paths I can take and then some of them can be done together so capture five objectives and complete five squad orders can be done together so some capturing objective A I can either put a squad order on it or ask, it, uh, ask one of my squad leader to put a squad order on it so that way then they can be working together and I can get a, a good juicy 4,000 XP from just playing the objective and um, putting squad orders on it. So that's one of the ways you can, uh, one of the ways that you can earn XP sort of just from playing the game. Another thing you should always do is check your dailies. So once again this can be done by either in the main menu or in game by simply navigating to the assignments tab and then going over to daily orders and then you'll get, you'll get your three challenges for the day uh, they're always random but they, the rewards are always the same so 100 company coins and 5000 xp so that's 15000 xp a day or if you do each one so if you do each three each day for seven days that's 105000 xp so by just logging on and playing a game or two you can get like a nice juicy reward out of it from doing pretty minimal work uh, as you can see here it's just like play two rounds boost a lot of heal teammates or earn 5000 score as an assault um, is what I got for the day so just make sure you check these before jumping onto your first game so you can work towards these as well as it's just like a nice passive way of just earning XP from playing the game so yeah just always check these before jumping into your first game so once you've looked at your weekly and daily challenges which game mode should you go for really it's up to you and now once you've played the game a load you'll find sort of which game modes work best for you and which ones you enjoy the most as at the end of the day that's the most important thing as you don't want to become like burnt out and bored from just playing game modes that you don't enjoy but there are some that can sort of help when they come onto rotation a, a lot with XP gains so Frontlines is one of those where you've sort of got to wait for it to come up unfortunately but both Frontlines and Breakthrough due to their like, sort of linear nature you can get a lot of XP from like kills, objective plays and just like playing your class I mean Breakthrough is a lot uh, at some sections is sort of open, open and wide but due to like the nature of like how it like sort of funnels you to like, like, like between like one and three to four objectives at a time in like a certain section of the map you can just it's always high pace high high kills and like just reviving and that sort of thing domination due to it being like 10 to 15 minutes uh, of just quick rounds close quarters like three flags it's another good game mode 
Conquest and Outpost both once again dependent on the map so like some maps like Metro compared to Hamada will you'll get a lot of XP and kills in that but and finally Rush as well when it's on rotation is also a good game mode because once again it's a bit like front lines of breakthrough where it's got that sort of linear fashion to it so those are sort of like some of the be better game modes to play but like I said earlier on it's up to you and what works best for you and what you enjoy the most is sort of the main importance uh, of this sort of section of earning XP. So this is just going to be like a quick summary of how each class can earn XP by utilising their role on the battlefield. Now, in no way is this going to be like, um, like recommendations or a tier list of like best to worst. It's going to be like how utilising your class's role you can earn XP. Now, obviously kills and playing the objectives is a big part of battlefield and that's sort of, sort of like a base XP across the board but this is going to be how by using your classic role you can earn XP so with the medic reviving teammates and squad mates is like a big big chunk of XP so teammates you can get 100 and squad mates is 200 XP as as well as this you can like heal heal your teammates or when you see the flash and exclamation mark just throw them a health kit on the floor resupply them and you'll get like, an, depending on how much the damage, you'll get like that amount in XP, as well as like healing their bandages if they've like run out of a bandage. So the recon, this is like the aggressive style. So just being on the f uh, front line, with all your bolt action, pistol carbine, uh, semi-auto, and just flaring the objective. So when you like run into like an enemy objective, or you're going back to defend an objective that's being captured just pop a flare on it and you'll get XP from Mark and that um, th those enemies as well as this you can also put spawn beacons down for like your squad mates to spawn on and some teammates if they're running the correct perk as a recon which is the pathfinder support is just throwing down ammo whether it be the ammo box or the ammo pack repairing vehicles building fortifications and static weapons such as like the AI the pack guns the machine guns um, and that, that's about it really and the assault is really one of the um, sort of weaker classes for earning like big amounts of XP is like the only ways really is from like destroying vehicles and just like damaging vehicles I mean it does have ways of like destroying fortifications as well as it has like more like sort of um, sort of explosives it can use to destroy uh, like fortifications but the main way is sort of damaging vehicles and just destroying vehicles so that's sort of like how each class can earn XP onto the next one. So the final part of this video is sort of just the, like the miscellaneous XP ways that doesn't really matter on your class or your game mode to a certain extent. So first one is like dropping squad orders on objectives that are squad mates on. So whether it be attacking or defending. Now you as a squad leader don't have to be on it, but if like I say squad mates is on an objective that's that they're attacking or defending to drop an order on it and you'll get some XP from that once the time is counted down and completed. Uh, another way is sort of reviving squad mates as a non-medic so even if you're not a medic class you can still revive people that are within your squad and get the full 200 XP so just be on the lookout for that and don't leave them on the floor because you'll get uh, you'll miss out on a, a chance to get like, a good 200 XP there. As, and another way is sort of just shooting sort of enemy equipment so if you look to the sky sometimes you can see like sort of like a glowing sort of red red dot with a bit of smoke coming off of it that's like an enemy flare Sh you can shoot those and get 50 xp destroying enemy equipment so mines um landmines or like the sort of uh, trip wires and finally enemy fortification so when you know like an enemy sort of built a sort of fortification you can sort of get a bit of xp from destroying it now it's not as much so the ma out of the main three, so it'd be sort of shooting flares and destroying enemy equipment is the main sort of thing you should be doing uh, as as any class really. So yeah, hope you hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found some bits helpful. Uh, if so, make sure to uh, like and subscribe as I'm going to be posting a lot more Battlefield content and check me out on Twitch as well as I stream there from time to time. But um, yeah, have a, have a good day and I'll catch you guys in a bit.